Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 12 of the Oblivion walkthrough. So in the last episode, we got the Mace of Molag Ball and the Mask of Clavicus Vile. In this episode, we're going to be uh, doing the Hersini quest. I think that's how you pronounce it. But he's like the, the forest deed agent guy. Do you not have the proper offering? Well, duh, not yet. You approach the shrine of Hersini. Yes, I do. I'm a hunter or I'm prey? Well, I'm obviously you a hunter. yourself a hunter? Then approach the shrine of Hercene. Leave, leave an offering of the pelt of a bear or the pelt of a wolf. Or perhaps. So I need the pelt of a bear or the pelt of a wolf. Luckily, these things are much easier to find than the pelt of a mountain lion. And I know exactly where to get them as well. Pretty much um, all the general goods traders sell bear pelts. Don't know why. I honestly have no clue why anyone would want to buy a bear pelt other than for this quest, of course. But anyway, they do. So we're going to go to the copious coin purse, because he sells bear pelts. I found this out when I was searching for a wolf pelt. Or, I mean, a, a lion pelt, whatever. What kind of you can sell me a, a bear pelt. No? Yes. There we go. Bear pelt. Buy one of them. 44 gold. What a ripoff. Well. That's... I just wanted to get that over with. Eh, that's a quest we'll do later on. I probably shouldn't have done that, but anyway. There is a quest that is related to Thornier that we will do later on in the game. I started it by accident, and I figured, you know, I'm at Thornier. I might as well do the next stage of the quest. Why not? But anyway, yeah, we'll get into that quest later on. But we'll offer the bear pelt. No. Is bear pelt? Yeah, it is. Okay, we'll offer the bear pelt, and I'll shut up. Summon. I think you get to hunt like some kind of beast in, in this one. Grove is a quarry worthy to chase. First named, last tamed. The unicorn runs wild there. Bring me this creature's own mortal, if you dare. Okay, he desires the horn of a unicorn. I know how to get one. I have unfortunately had to kill this unicorn before <laughs> as you guys may have uh, may ha may remember uh, if you watched what was it episode 4 something like that I don't remember if it's not episode 4 don't yell at me but um, it was one of the earlier episodes I got attacked viciously by a unicorn and I had to kill it and I believe there's only one unicorn place in the game where it naturally spawns or where it spawns at all uh, and it attacked me. I'm not sure why. I mean, a unicorn is kind of like a horse, and uh, horses aren't typically aggressive. But there's going to be a unicorn and a whole ton of minotaurs surrounding it, so just be aware of that. If I had the invisibility spell, that would be awesome, but... Oh, a troll. Goodness gracious. What? You, why are you here? Why are you even here? But I'm going to be using my wraith liberally here. Uh, the great thing about the wraith is even though it's not the beefiest, I like I like that word. I don't know why, but... Anyway, regular trolls are much easier to kill than those that those trolls that we had to fight in a previous episode. Uh, but we are going to have to take down some of these minotaurs. Because these there's the unicorn right there. But these minotaurs are beefy. And they have glass maces or war hammers or something. But that didn't hit him. But yeah, these minotaurs obviously are going to not be super easy to kill. I don't think they're even regular minotaurs. I'm thinking... Uh, I think I'm a high enough level that I reach like the second tier Minotaur. I'm not sure what they're called, but let's summon this guy before we get owned. And um, yeah, obviously these guys don't have any good loot. Just the the Minotaur horns, which are you know a fairly rare ingredient because the only way to get them is to kill Minotaurs or to buy them from alchemy shops. Obviously, is this guy just a regular old run-of-the-mill Minotaur? Oh, Minotaur of the Grove. Yeah, that's the that's the next tier of Minotaur. Everything has like a next tier. Like wolves turn into timber wolves. Timber wolves. The Minnesota timber wolves. Yes, but yeah. And then like uh, black bears turn into um, brown bears, and then I think later on they turn into cave bears or something. But yeah, as you level up, uh, so do the monsters. They become. They get new names, and they have. They're more difficult, you know. And like bandits turn into. I think bandits stay bandits. They just have better gear. Or maybe or marauders, something like that. I think a marauder is like a higher level of bandit. But obviously, minotaurs are really easy to kill. Um, 
if you are meleeing them, what you want to do is just wait them, wait for them to swing, back off, hit them, wait for them to swing, back off, that kind of thing. But I am using archery because archery is freaking baller. I love that word also. And also, I only have 280 carrying spaces because my strength has been drained due to unfortunate circumstances. But I believe there are a couple more monitors around here. Yep. And a, a brown bear as well. So we'll take them out before we actually go for the unicorn. So I can't even see him right now because he was out of the view distance. But, uh-oh, here comes the minotaur. Or, I mean, the unicorn. My marksman skill increased. That's always handy. Marksman takes forever to level up. Oh, yeah, you can only kill the minotaur with magic or an enchanted weapon. I completely forgot about that. Uh-oh. Uh, my gloom wraith, or no my faded wraith. I do have a gloom wraith as well, but I'm using the faded wraith right now because it lasts for longer and costs a lot less magicka to use. My faded wraith can just go ham on the unicorn, but for whatever reason, the unicorn puts up quite a fight. Um, he might even be dead by the time I get over there. I don't know. This minotaur would just die. Please die. Thank you. I don't even want to mess with that brown bear, so if he doesn't notice me, that's all well and good with me. Did my wraith just die to the unicorn? Or did his timer run out? I didn't see. My uni If this unicorn just killed that wraith, that is amazing. Anyway, loot the unicorn, get the horn. We got it. That wasn't too bad. So we get to return to the shrine of Hersini now and get our reward. Very, very short quest. Not too difficult. Yes, Hunter. Make your offering. Did you taste its flesh and drink its blood? No, that's a bit weird. Please be a beast ring or something. The Savior's Hide. Uh, oh, that's armor? Okay. Resist magic 25% on self. That is really good. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to be wearing this from now on. So it has the exact same armor rating as my glass caress. But it's also resist magic 25%. That's awesome because a lot of enemies use magic. So that is going to be helpful. So the next um, one that we have to go to is Sheogorath, which is probably the weirdest, the kookiest <laughs> of all the Daedric... I don't know what to call them. Gods? They're not really gods. Feels a bit weird to say that. Anyway, time to visit Sheogareth. He's pretty awesome. I like him. I do not have the offering. What is the... Why are you naked? There must... Why are they all naked? These guys aren't wearing pants. This guy's just kind of out of it. Oh, yeah, all these guys are completely in insane because Sheogareth is the god of insanity. Not, not the god, the Daedric Prince of Insanity. Then approach the shrine. He might appear because it's raining. He loves the rain because it's wet. Ironically, it's not raining at all. It's raining. Of course, you'll need an offering. I think a lesser soul gem, a head of lettuce, and some yarn will do the trick. Lesser soul gem, lettuce, and yarn. So I need all those things. It's a little bit weird why these guys are naked. Have you seen it? Have you seen the light? The bright, shining light? I oh, speak with Ravel? Who's Ra Is he over here? Ortis? I wish there were children here. Scrumptious, darling children. He eats children? Ugh. These people are a bit odd. I must be level 2 to begin that quest. Oh. This is a pretty rough, um, rough requirement. To speak with Feral Ravel. I already spoke with Pharaoh Ravel. You've been told what yeah, a uh, lesser soul gem, a head of lettuce, and a piece of yarn. Okay. Piece of yarn is a bit of an arbitrary item. I'm uh, not 100% sure on where to get such a thing, but I do know where to get a lesser soul gem and a head of lettuce because I should have both of those in my house. I hope just a regular old, regular, I can't talk tonight, regular old lesser soul gem will help. I've been storing all my soul gems like a smart person, so storing them all for when I eventually start using enchanted weapons. 
Thankfully, enchanted armor does not need to re be recharged, but enchanted weapons do need to re be recharged, so. I should have lettuce as well. Lesser soul gem. Where are you? Here you are. This is just a regular old one. We'll bring one with a lesser soul and just a regular one as well, because I'm not sure if he needs it filled or not. And I'll grab myself some lettuce. And I have no clue, not the foggiest idea where I'm going to get yarn from. Come on, please. Oh, yes, I do have lettuce. That doesn't look anything like lettuce in the little picture there. Whatever, we're not going to argue. So this is cloth. I might have yarn downstairs in the basement just because there's a whole bunch of random crap down here. None of it is very useful. But yeah, yarn is just one of those junk items that you kind of find everywhere. So it might be in one of these crates. Hey, repair hammer. Oh, yarn. I saw it. There we go. That wasn't too difficult. I was I was going to worry I would have to like go to the Imperial City and search shops for yarn or something like that. But nope, we lucked out. So we have everything that Shergoroth needs. Well, I don't know if he really needs these items, but everything he wanted. And this quest is pretty weird. Um, you guys will see what I mean when the quest begins. But anyway... Let's talk to him and start the quest. He has an awesome accent, by the way. Okay, so I have to go to the settlement of Border Watch. This sounds vaguely familiar to the Sanguine Quest. Luckily, I've already been here, so I have already discovered it. I have done a lot of traveling. I'll just show you guys my map really quick. So, tons and tons of locations found, and I didn't, like, use a cheat code or anything to unlock all these. I actually went all over... I had to. I went uh, ahead of time and discovered all the Daedric shrines. So along the way, if there's like um, an area close by the Daedric shrine, I just went ahead and discovered it. But I haven't discovered all the areas in the game. There's obviously some over here that I haven't discovered. Um, there should be some around here that I haven't discovered. There's some around here that I haven't discovered. But anyway, I have discovered quite a few locations. So I don't remember what to do with this quest. What? What? Why is this guy all dressed up and weird? Welcome to Border Watch. You're the shaman? Kashara prophecy. You know of the Kashara prophecy. How odd. Are you some sort of scholar? I'm some sort of awesome. I enjoy ridiculous prophecy. Wonderful. I would be glad to tell you more. Then do it. It has been told from our fathers and our fathers' fathers that our time in this place will come to an end. My great-great-great-grandfather, Kishara, foretold of a time when we would receive three signs from the gods, signaling the end of the world. Well, tell me about him. I don't trust you. Really? I'm listening. Was this completely necessary? Me, these are the signs as they were foretold. First, there is the plague of vermin. It is said... Our town will be overrun by disease-carrying creatures. Rats, I would imagine. Horrible little things. I always keep a powerful rat poison around in case I see one of the little monsters. Next is the plague of famine. It is foretold that our livestock will fall dead in their fields with no apparent explanation. We have but the six sheep in our pasture, and we make sure they are well tended. What's the third sign? 
The plague of fear? I will not speak of this. Not to any outsider. I'll answer anything else I can. Is there something more? Perhaps you would like to know more. No, I don't care about Border Watch. Anyway. What I'm supposed to do here. I'll need to find a way to create an infestation of vermin. Um I remember it's whoa. Nice Daedric Battle Axe, dude. Kinda weird how he just happens to have a Daedric Battle Axe. This must be a Khajiit town. Because everyone seems to be a Khajiit. He also has a Daedric War Axe. They all have Daedric weapons. I don't know why that is. Anyway, um he also has some I believe those are glass boots, they look pretty cool. Wish I had some. But anyway, I think I'm gonna have to look this up because I don't remember how to create the infestation of vermin, so I'll be right back. Okay, so that walkthrough wasn't that helpful, but it gave me at least a vague idea of what to do. You have to go to the inn in Border Watch, which is not that place, uh, and steal some cheese. Yeah, I know, rats, cheese. You know, very, very inventive of them. Uh, and it said this part of the quest is most difficult because you can be caught. So we're going to save first. Ooh, Nern Root. Oh, can anyone see me? Crap. She see me. Oh, she looked away. Nern Root. Thank you very much. So I guess, um... Oh yeah, we have to talk to her first and she'll tell us Welcome about the cheese. Cheese. It's been a hobby of mine for years. I've collected cheeses. The real rare Olroy cheese. Never find. It looks I keep it locked away tight. If I were to try cooking with it, the smell alone would draw rats for miles. It's a lovely conversation piece, though. How is cheese a lovely conversation piece? Anyway, she told us what we needed to know. I don't know why the quest didn't update there, but So this is the cheese. The cheese. So She's looking away, so hopefully, actually, you know what, I'm going to save. Just in case my bounty gets raised or something retarded like that, so. I believe this is the old Roy cheese. Really, come on now. You know, we're just going to, oh, auto attempt spam it up. Wow, and I got it in the first attempt. Is this the old Roy cheese? Yes, it is. I'm going to open this one, too, just for the, the lock picking experience. Come on. Yep, security skill increased. Pretty awesome. So no one's looking. I'm going to take the Elroy cheese. So now what you need to do... Really, why is the inn door locked? Whatever. I mean, it's an inn. It's not supposed to be locked, but whatever. Oh, oops. That is not the front door to the inn. These are, um... Those are doors that you can, you know, buy and sp spend the night in. But anyway... So now what we gotta do is cook the cheese. The smell coming from it is astonishing. None of these guys have even noticed though. So I believe we wait a couple hours now, something like that, and then that's when the rats will come. Rats? Yep, rats everywhere. Look at all the rats. I should bleed I should talk to Ribasa. Where is Ribasa? But apparently you can now kill the rats if you want to, and I don't like these things, so I'm just going to slaughter the rats. Die, 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 die. So, uh, Rabasa should be around slaughtering rats as well. Yeah, they're using magic on the rats. All the rats are dead. Okay. Do you believe the prophecy? Maybe it is. If it's come... What was the second phase? I forget. Uh, second phase is plague, and all the livestock are supposed to die. Okay, so I know what to do here. Um, if I can find the livestock pen. I do remember this part of the quest, at least. Yeah, this is where the sheep are. You have to wait until the middle of the night, and then I bet you guys can probably guess what's going to happen next. Let's just say the sheep are not going to live to see it tomorrow. Poor guys. I wish this game didn't force you to kill so many people, but you do. So is that the sheep that detects me? Or an actual person? I think it's just the sheep. Bye. Oh, what? I can't kill a sheep in one hit? That's pretty embarrassing. Uh, two sheep did. I believe there were like six sheep total. 
Um, and they do wander out of this area, which, you know, seems like there's not much point in having a gate when there's a sheep up there on the hill. I think there was six sheep. They must really wander, though. Die, sheep. Oh, I think they dropped mutton. I want some mutton. No, they don't drop mutton. Okay. There's a sheep over there. We're going to kill this one. Why did they even bother to fence it in if the sheep can still get out? I don't... It took four hits with a Daedric Longsword to kill a sheep? That is just ridiculous. So, two more sheep. Where are they? Eh, oh, this spell... Here, hold on. I believe I have... Uh, life detection. I guess I only have the minor life detection, but that's okay. Uh, it should help us find the sheep a little bit easier. I've just been using this spell to train um, mysticism, obviously, but hey, it might actually come in useful now. Uh, I'm not seeing any purple splotches on my map, so I have... Oh, there's a sheep. You have to be, obviously, really close to anything that's alive for this spell to work, because it's crappy. It only works for, like, I don't know, 20 feet around your character in detecting life, something like that. These sheep can wander quite a ways, though. Um, let's check up on top of this hill over here. But yeah, once all the sheep are dead, uh, the village people will believe that they were killed. Well, they were killed, but the village people will believe they'll be killed, like, by magical forces or something. It's this next sign of the prophecy. You would think if you just stabbed a sheep with a sword, there would be some evidence that the sheep was killed with a sword, but whatever. I'm not going to argue with the prophecy. Okay, let's go back into town. Luckily, the sheep didn't put up much fight. Yes, I have. have done well, mortal. I'm amused, I think. Head into the center of Border Watch and make sure to duck. He's congratulating. I'm going to the center of town to await the final sign. Okay. I always thought Sherigarth was more of a goofy guy and not so crazy, but. Okay. Center of town, wait the final sign. I can do that. Right here? Where's the fear? Bring the pain. Oh, skies are turning red. I think I'm almost dead. Not sure what happens here, because I can't quite remember. But unfortunately, all the townspeople are asleep, because it's, like, really late at night. So they're not going to see this. Come on, let's go. Yeah, the sky's red. It's great. Let's go. Maybe I should have done this during the day. Uh-oh. There's flaming... It's raining dogs. Okay, I'm not quite scared yet. How is this the plague of fear? Oh, I get it. Because all the Khajiits are cats. Okay. And I'm guessing they don't like dogs. Hey, I want your glass boots. Hey. Yo, come back. I want your glass boots. Talk to me. Talk to me. Are you kidding me? Why are you all running around? Yes, it has. Jeez. Even though she thinks she's about to die, she's still willing to talk about cheese. This game. Anyway, with a job well done, we're going to return to Shogarath and tell him all about the cheese. Not really, but still naked people walking around. <laughs> Go away before I kill you. I love that. But yeah, we get the Wabajack now, which is pretty awesome if you're one of those people that just likes goofing around. But this is the one. I know I talked about the Sanguine Rose, but this is the one that turns people into random things. Um, what we're going to do here is save. Because I. No, I already saved. Because I don't want a bounty or anything. And then we're going to go boom! What's going on? What's going on? Hey! Hey, calm down. Calm down. You're supposed to like be able to turn people into chickens and stuff. Maybe it's not working. Work! Come on! Why isn't it working? It's supposed to turn people into stuff. Uh oh. Maybe it'll work on you? None of them seem very happy with me. <laughs> okay, obviously that's not working. Let's reload this. 
Maybe you can only use it on items. I'm not sure. Um, let's try to use it on this. I thought you could use it on people. No, it's not going to work. I'm going to hit him with it. Maybe I was wrong. Okay. I don't know. The Wabba Jacket just isn't working for me. Anyway, you know, that's going to be all for this for this episode, you guys. So I'll see you next time. Farewell. We'll finish up the Daedric quest next episode, I believe.